Hi everyone, this is Monique Media, Monique Teller. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. Uh, I'm back with another video. This one will go to the girls from Blackpink about their love interest. What, a, what is happening with the girls in romance, all right? Let's see any prediction, anything that is happening in their hearts. Let's see what we can see and find out about them, okay? Uh, thank you so much for uh, subscribing, for liking, and for commenting, leaving your kind comments down below. We're going to start with the oldest girl from Blackpink, which is Jisoo, all right? Let's see what's coming for her. Wow. I think she still cares about what, about what has happened in the past, about her previous relationship she cares about the fact that she wanted to um things to work out she wanted to the, for this to grow into something meaningful and important and the the, the way it, it just fell apart it ended it was kind of abrupt for her this is what i'm feeling she actually i feel that she feels a little bit um disappointed or even um Disappointed or even like mm, uninterested in pursuing any kind of romance for a while. For the cards that I'm seeing right now, I feel that she needs to feel right to start over again. Um, I think she relates all of this to being part of the being on in the spotlight, limelight. I'm almost listening to limelight. Like um, she feels that she now needs now to. Uh, build some boundaries and she needs to protect herself and her love life and any kind of interest that she will have in the future i think she will be more care caring and um careful about what's coming into her life she will try not to get other people to um, be so critical or like send their judgment over to her or like her relationships so she will be more careful in the future um because what I'm feeling from this is like she's always wanted to have like a healthy relationship and she wanted to have a healthy conversation with her fans, with everyone. She didn't want to hide anything because she felt that hiding doesn't serve you, doesn't get you anywhere. But this was like a learning lesson because now she feels like she needs to be more cautious and aware of what she's sharing. And now in the future, she will con be considering whatever is uh, coming into her life and i feel that she will want to pers pursue new relationships in the future but she will take all the necessary steps before starting even i am feeling a lot of like uncertainty from coming from her but at the same time wanting to come out a bit it might take over a year for her to be in a new relationship okay if she doesn't um, find a peace with all of this, all right? She's heartbroken, as you can see. I think she's got some things to talk of, uh, to talk about with the her previous relationship. Some unresolved issues with the person and she wants to address all that, but she doesn't want to cause any kind of like misunderstanding and she doesn't want to be in the spotlight anymore. So uh, I think she is refraining herself for like being too obvious or too open about her love interest. What I'm feeling also is that she... Didn't end things well with this person. She actually cared for, for him. She wanted things to be open and grow but like she was too aware about so many things maybe because this was in the spotlight it's like many people started to to send a lot of feedback and maybe send a lot of information from this guy and like every everyone was in their business and everyone was like kind of like investigating the guy researching the guy and everyone was like here jisoo we have this about this guy's this and this and this and this and she kind of like had it <laughs> all right she felt that she was not it was just not a two people relationship it was like a million of people wanted to be in it and so it's uh, now wanting to be careful I think she likes relationships. She likes when people, she likes seeing people in relationships. She appreciates that. So she just needs to heal from all of this experience in order for her to open up again, right? 
little by little and because of one of her friends relationships she will be like oh my god i think i don't want to see a guy again i want to date i want to be in a relationship i don't i mean i don't just want to keep all this love for myself i know there's so much i can give in a relationship and she will she will eventually find a person i think this person she will meet her friends like she might be going to like a celebration to a birthday party and there would be like uh, a friend who's got a relationship and she will be like oh my god that's so beautiful the way they are celebrating and together and she will find that really eye-opening and kind of like again will want to try again to fall in love with someone but i do feel that for at least the next months um, over half of, an, of a year, she will be uh, single. She will be considering. I, I think it will pass, nine months will pass before she actually opens up to a new relationship. And I think uh, things will happen just um, without much preparation. It will Things will evolve little by little. She will just like a person that at the beginning, they will just see each other through friends, through parties, and they will have like l long conversations throughout the night and they will just happen to like each other they will be very similar um i don't know i feel that in personalities but also like yes they have like similar things that they are very curious they are like kind of like peculiar their peculiarities are quite similar and they like kind of like the same things maybe they like the same kind of music they like dressing up sometimes in a certain way or just the same rants or like um yeah i don't know opera i just heard opera maybe they like opera or like <laughs> um but they just will connect at the heart but she will be like immensely cautious at the beginning but little by little she realized that there's something special to this person right that she can compare to anyone else and i feel that the, the next person that she will fall in love with she will fall with this person because there's something about this person's wounds or like past that she will relate to i think there's something about their like um weaknesses <laughs> that they will kind of like understand each other like no other all right let me see with another tar deck because i do feel that she will open up again to love so let's see about this person is this other person who is this person? Who is... Yes, I love it. It's the same car. It's the strength. I think there was someone. Maybe she had already met this person. I think they had already, like, talked, reunited in a party. And they had, like, a lot of things in common. But they stopped just uh, seeing each other. Maybe because they were quite busy. Or they were, like, in different parts of the world. That, that could be an option but it, it's like they are similar like you have no idea they understand each other so well and uh, i want to know about this i'm so into <laughs> oh my god another i love the repeated um, card we have the ten of swords wow when she met this person it was very difficult for them to be together probably uh, Maybe, the, the, well, there was so many things like making it difficult for them to be together, but things change. Maybe they were in a relationship or this person was in a relationship back then, but they still hit it off. And they were like always, wow, that person was so interesting. I, I wish I could see this person again. So it feels like this person is coming out of like something, a face in, in their life. And um, it's like... They get to see each other again through an acquaintance. Uh, it is good. It's related to a party. It's related to traveling. I don't think this is happening in Seoul. That's what I'm saying. Which is the, the, the city which where she resides. I don't think this is happening where she resides. Because I'm actually not sure if that's where she resides. But I actually feel this, this is like involves traveling. Wow. There's a person for her already. But they will have to wait some time before they are both available again. Um, their, their hearts are open again. They're free and um, available. 
but yeah there will be some longing um there will be like some releasing there will be some uh healing before this happens all right i don't see it happens happening like in the next six months but after that also i think she will evolve from all that has happened she will renew herself i think she will in the next year in the next months to come and she may talk about this she will have changed a lot maybe because of the company that she's going to work with because like i said I don't think they are signing up with, I mean, they have already said that they are signing up with YG, but just for like group related, like, uh, you know, activities. But when it comes to their individual activities, I think that they are all going to change. They are going to do things differently and she's going to change a lot. She's going to uh, let go a lot of the past pain, a lot of the past disappointment, and she's going to heal and she's going to renew and become someone new again. Like she's going to become stronger from all of this because she will realize that she was a little bit too um, innocent like she was like not thinking things through when she decided to come up uh, with a public relationship that she now needs to fight for her um, private life and her and her like a healthy heart and mind which was very difficult um over the past few months that all this happened all right many of you don't know but this is all pointing out that she had a really hard time when she had to break things up she had a, a breakup with this person all right um yeah i don't think it was an easy decision let me see we're gonna check some other um we're gonna check some oracle cards I'm going to see about impartial. Yeah, she's now kind of like balancing things out. She's like, yes, I'm going to have to keep things to myself. I'm going to show parts of me, but not just I'm going to be more careful. And I think she's going to realize that she's got it all. Um, This is the first card that came up. Justice. This is a person that she's turning into. See, this is the balance. This is good. This is good because I feel that she's healing. She's learning. She's becoming stronger, more wise. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm i seeing something like um, something related to like um, bracelets or like jewelry. Something coming for her. And I don't know. This might be related because I feel that the, the person that she's going to meet it's a very important person you know i'm feeling someone that it's like a ceo someone like who works with brands at the same time i feel that this person can get their can get their hot and sturdy for some reason and this person is someone who's got a lot of power but at the same time can work with like charitable causes and she will love that from him renovation yeah this is what's happening just changing and this may happen like in the next um spring or like uh autumn no this is happening in the next autumn and um where she lives or in the northern hemisphere all right it's around that time but i feel that things are like she's gonna feel a lot better she might be working in new music by the time she might be she may have she will have changed her appearance she's gonna have new brand deals so many things will have happened and um yes this is um facade this is facade she wasn't honest with herself in the past and now she's taking many things into consideration and she's changing and i think she won't need the approval of anyone to make decisions and we're going to pull some other cards from uh I'm going to pull this uh, oracle card for Jisoo. Wow, the vigilant of the well, of the well. This is wisdom, the power of the divine. I think this is about keeping things safe. She's going to learn that and she's going to become stronger. She's going to feel, she's going to become more sophisticated, like more grown in, over the next year. Uh, it says patience, quietness, the resting tree. 
you know, she's going to rest for a while from relationships for at, least, for at least seven months. This is what I'm feeling. I'm going to pull up the, the Oracle Romance cards at, by the end. And then we're going to go for the next girl. I want to get another card from this. All right. This card jumped. The kit of the camera. Little steps. A petition of help. Yes. I don't know. I think it's related to new music coming from her of, uh, in the next year. Uh, that she will be help, being assisted by this guy, by this person. They are going to work together. Or uh, yeah, um, and they're going to start to like frequent each other again, once again, the next year. Okay. Something about six months, seven months. Uh, I think that's when they're going to reunite. But I don't think she's going to be in a relationship. She's just going to start to uh, frequent this person again. But yeah, little by little. I don't think she's ready now to be in her relationships. She's healing. So we're going to wish the best for Jisoo. All right. Last cards from the Romance Angels. Let's see. We're waiting for. Wow. Honeymoon. Yes. It, it's something to do with traveling. It's something to do with like letting things go before you're feeling ready. Releasing your ex. Yes. It wasn't a, a, an easy decision. I think she liked the guy a lot. So there might may have yes there was some control issues like some jealousy happening between them so that she had to she let go of the relationship and then she would start to flirt again okay it says wedding I don't know there might be some wedding related to all this but it's gonna happen uh, later on right so thank you so much you guys and we're gonna go for the next girl we're gonna go for Jenny and I see you there. <laughs>